Hi everyone, my name's Lauren. Um, I've tried filming this intro like 20 times, so I'm not even gonna bother trying anymore. Basically, this is gonna be my everyday makeup routine that I'm gonna show you. Um, bear in mind that I do wear quite a lot of makeup, so this isn't light, but I hope you enjoy and find it helpful. So, I'm going to bring my mirror closer so I can see. Um, and the first thing that I do before putting any makeup on is prep. That's my most important thing. I don't put too much prep on, but I have very, very dry skin. Um, so I always make sure to moisturise. I'm going to go ahead and use the Mario Badescu one. That much. So, yeah, how is everyone doing um, during this time of lockdown? The UK is on lockdown right now, um, as pretty much everywhere is. So, you know... I've always wanted to start a YouTube channel and I thought well, what better time than whilst we're stuck inside all day. So then I'm going to take the Ordinary High Spreadability Fluid Primer. the Revolution. This is completely came off. Mattify Matte and Fix Primer Pore Fill. Okay, now this is all I do really for prep. We're going to start on makeup. So I go between doing my eyeshadow first and my base first. It depends what eyeshadow look I'm doing. I'll link my Instagram account in the um, description box because I tend to do quite colourful eyeshadow looks but then I do quite normal, like today will be quite normal but if you want to have a look at the kind of things I do um, and I will do some tutorials on them but for now we're going to start with the base so I'm going to take the L'Oreal True Match Super Blender this, don't even know what shade it's in, can I even tell you the shade? Golden Almond, um, so I use this when I'm pretty tan and then I'm also just going to take some of the Mario Badescu Facial Spray with Aloe Sage and Orange Blossom. So I've got that. Pump this on the back of my hand. One pump does go quite a long way. I'm not going to lie. So we'll just start with that. Um, and I just bounce this in with a beauty blender. So I'm going to take the Revolution Pro HD Cream Contour Palette. Um, on a Real Techniques, I the name's rubbed off this, yes it has, this one, can we see, yeah, right, and I'm going to take this shade, and just, you know, very, very pigmented, I just kind of go like this around it, and I'm just going to draw a line, basically, I'm just drawing a line, and then once that line's down, I'm just going to buff it up a little bit with the brush. The excess products. And I'm going to draw kind of there, kind of there. A little bit down my wonky nose. Under there. And then I just kind of drag underneath my jaw, underneath my chin. Kind of make that a little bit smaller. Okay, and then I'm going to take my beauty blender and just blend this out. I really want to try the Primark Beauty Cream and Contour Stick. I don't know if any of you watch Jordan Lipscomb, but she is my absolute idol. Her makeup, everything, just love it. Um, and she raves about that cream and contour stick. And I've been doing makeup since I was about 10. I'm 18, by the way, and I'm from Manchester. Um, but I've been doing makeup since about 10. But... Okay, so my boyfriend just rang me despite me texting him saying, do not ring me, I'm trying to film. So we're going to ignore that and I don't even know what I was talking about. To the beauty blender, I'm going to take my favourite concealer. I think I've used this ever since I was 10, which is the Collection Lasting Perfection Ultimate Wear Concealer in fair number one. Yeah. Draw a triangle. I'm running low on the concealer, I need another one, but I mean, for the price, you can't really complain. <laughs> um, and then I'm going to put on my chin, keep it's bow, a little bit on my nose because it spreads quite a lot and then some on my forehead. Put this is in 001 Transparent um, and I'm going to first take it on Setting Brush by Real Techniques and pack that under my eyes now i'm going to take the bh cosmetics number two brush from the same collection and just 
swirl that round and press it all over my face with just a small brush that's kind of angled. Um, and then I'm taking my Hula Bronzer by Benefit. This is a little travel version uh, that I got in a kit. Very, very getting there, getting bare. Again, don't think I've really used any of a bronzer that I've truly loved. And we're just going to bronze where we put the contour. What even, what even is that? I think I'm sure it's from Revolution. The um, blush palette that they've got, can't even get in it. It was open. Um, <laughs> at the moment, I like taking this one and this one. So I'm just going to dip into that so lightly. Okay, and we're just going to press it and I don't put it up over the cheeks. A bit higher, take the blush as well against the forehead chin and across the nose and i just kind of take that with one more dip in and then kind of go over the whole face with it bh cosmetics number five um and i'm going to take the revolution imagination highlight to the moon palette i love imagination as well queens right and we're going to take slay my life which is kind of just mix the two because you can see everything um <laughs> so like um, a dark gold and a light gold Okay, I am just holding you, but can we see a little bit better now? I hope. But yeah, flawless. Love it. But now I just like a more fluffy natural brow. It takes like two minutes. So I'm going to brush them out. Um, and I use this pencil as well. This is the NYX Professional Makeup Micro Brow Pencil in Espresso. So I'm going to just brush them up first. The concealer that we used before back of the hand and I'm going to take the Real Techniques detail brush and I'm just gonna draw underneath it as if I was carving it out without anything being there okay, and then whilst we're here we're not done with brows but we're here I'm gonna take the rest of the concealer on the Real Techniques built crease brush and I'm gonna just buff God, I put myself in the eye. Um, it looks like I'm crying, I'm not. <laughs> I'm just going to buff the concealer from the brow and with a little bit extra down on the face. Finishing off brows. You can see they look almost like they're done, but my brows are quite sparse, so I'm just going to feather basically through them in any sparse areas. Rest my elbow and I just go to the here, I'll do it on the other side as well, and I just do. Little flicks up. Flick. Flick. About three. And I take the spoolie and I just buff all that in. Blend it all together. This is the Soft Glam by Anastasia Beverly Hills. I'm just going to take Burnt Orange. Just this one here. And I'm going to use the brush that it comes I'm with. I'm just going to run that in my crease. Really carelessly. And just blend it up and out to the brow bone. Okay. Close but up. Why we're here? Why we're here? To film. Whilst we're here. Same shade. Same brush because it's nice and big, so it'll really smoke it out. And just going underneath the lash line. I'm gonna take rustic. So it's this one. So it's not too dark. It's not as dark as Cypress Umber. I'm gonna take it on a flat bit. Pick it up, and I'm gonna just put that all over my lid. So yeah, this makeup will probably be like what you see when I'm filming other videos because I don't want my channel just to be strictly makeup based it is what I love to do and it is what made me want to start doing YouTube um but you know I want to do some like kind of fashion videos some maybe vlog style videos um some videos that maybe like incorporate my boyfriend or my family you might not be able to see the light and it's I'm using like natural light and then I have like my little makeup ring light but lighting is going down but I'll show you when the rest of the eyes is complete so I'm going to curl my lashes. I'm going to use the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara in black. I also put bottom lash mascara on. So hopefully you can see a little bit better that it's just brown smash. Yeah. to use a lip liner. So this is the Rimmel London Exaggerate Full Color Lip Liner in 018 Addiction. So I'm just going to line my lips this with that. This is the Urban Decay Naked Cream Lipstick. A little mini version that I got. And I'm going to just... Try and get what I can out of this. This setting spray. 
and I'm going to just take it on. You can use a palette, but I like to be extra. And I'm going to just drench the base. So, makeup complete, there we go. I hope we can see. I'm going to move you whilst we do this outro. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you did, give it a huge thumbs up. Oh, lipstick stain. Um, and yeah, look forward to the next one. Bye.